Well, hello everyone, and welcome to the Bank of Heresy. Actually, welcome to Eco. I can't turn my character around for some reason, but uh, here I am. I got a kilt on, or whatever you want to call this. We're gonna rock and roll. So, just joined the new server. This is the Wally and Caladorn server. A couple friends I've known for quite a few years. Uh, we have our basic bank here. I already went in and exchanged my voucher. We're playing. Uh, every every person is allowed one voucher worth a thousand coins, her, her, her coins, I guess you want to call them, um, worth a thousand, and there you go. And this is a bank, and we have a good, couple of different things here that were built, and then there's going to be some stuff underground, obviously, that uh, I don't have access to, which is fine as well. And here we have, this is the registrar's office, I believe, real estate desk for transferring deeds. <clears throat> and then over here we have, uh, oh, the same thing. Then back here, there's going to be various things that go along with the admin stuff. Now, the first thing you do when you join a game like this is you figure out what you want to do. <clears throat> now, I, I often, that is a huge thing on the map. Is the building really that big? Honestly, is it? <laughs> I guess it is, right? We don't, we're not playing on a gigantic map. Um, you know, it's big enough for what it is. I mean, this is a very large building. So we have some different biomes here. You can, you can set this up so that the camera is in a 3D, which I kind of like as well. This is the Bank of Heresy, which we're at right now. You look like you have a big pond here. It's kind of cliffy, has a bunch of cliff. Here's a bunch of wetlands. Here's some grasslands. This would be, I think, the warm forest. A lot of desert. Here's a big old hilltop with lots of granite, basically desert. And then uh, we can actually just go, we can just go to show all. We can go back to the, the 2D mode. Uh, I don't think anybody has, you can see where everything is here. The game has had a lot of updates from before. You can see the different shops here, the Wally, the bank. Of course, you need to have a banker and a mint to produce the money. And as far as I know, it doesn't appear like anybody else is on. Well, oh, I mean, the server literally just opened. Uh, I might have a little bit of a sneak peek just from now. So the question is, where do I want to settle? And I don't know. So what I want to do is do some exploring. I want to go masonry, mining, glass working, potentially get into brick working. Because masonry, the masonry tree, which we can actually look at right now. I have one star. I'm not going to click on anything. The masonry tree, or is that? That opens up or goes into the masonry. Masons can make hewn logs. Or not yeah, geez, the opposite of hewn logs. They, they can make... Um, I shouldn't get eaten up here by anybody by any wolves or anything. They can make uh, your mortar stone. They can make reinforced concrete, which is a third tier, tier three building material, which is great. Mortar stone obviously is tier one, and it can make kilns. It can make mills. It can make a little bit of furniture, and they can make the statues, and then you know your different upgrades and fireplaces. Not as much as say a carpenter, as far as making all the different furniture. Carpentry does furniture as well as they can get into doing lumber, and then eventually get into doing um, composites if you take that next tier. But you need. Uh, you can do basic lumbering with that, which is which is good as well. But masons, if you have masonry, you can do reinforced concrete, which is a level three, and lumbering, which is also a level three. But my plan, my plan here is to make reinforced concrete. We have a couple mods right now, so you can actually dye them. But your basic reinforced concrete, you make at a um, in a cement kiln. This is how you change the colors, of course, which is a tier three. So you need to have um, mechanic to make the cement kiln that you can't make a mechanic needs to do that and that, that's way down the line so my goal is to have some tier one and then some tier two i want to get into glass working which glass is a tier two or is it glass again we have different mods here elixir mods glass basically is a tier two building material so if we have masonry we can have our mortar stone to start with and then we can go up to glass working which is tier two Brick, bricks are also tier two. I love doing bricks, by the way, so we, we'll see. But I also like the glass because it has new things. It has different vases here or vases. And then, of course, with the different mod packs that we have, you can have different colored glass. So I think glass would be nice. I have a bit of a design. Um, and then, after, sorry, I'll, I'll jump around. We're going to do masonry first. Then we'll get into mining. Uh, we can't make we have to make a masonry skill book first before we do anything so we obviously need geology research basic basics we need six of those um but also needs mining oh so maybe we have to actually start with mining first i wanted to jump right in to start with masonry but maybe we can't actually do that oh, no it says level zero so yeah anybody can do that so geology basics 
Um, and then the recipe is basically just stone. It's 15 rocks or any type of rock. So 15 times 6, we would need 90 to get five of these or six of these sorry and that's what we need to get a mason book so that's what we're going to focus on but what we want to do is i oh there's something down here what is down here it looks like there's something down what is this it looks like there was something down what is that oh that's just the bank oh okay i don't really want to show all that stuff because it was throwing me off so what i want to do is do some exploring and then gather along the way so if we want to do masonry, we want to be, and also mining is good too. So, I mean, we can get into doing sandstone to maybe get some ore out of this to sell. If I want to do bricks, I want to be near the wetlands. I also want to be near, we're near wetlands because of where the coal is. Um, you know, but this is very, very hilly. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to run around a bit. And then, um, actually, let's just head off. Where should we look to go first? Um, I mean, these obviously, there, there's not a lot of, there's a couple main land masses, and that's about it. There's not tons, of course. So a spot up, I'm trying to think where it would be flat. These all look very hilly. Let's go into the 3D mode. That looks like that's snow. There's no limestone. I like to have a nice flat area. Like this wouldn't be bad here. But then again, this is, I almost wanted to have to go in. Or maybe actually um, clay is, clay's found might be in the warm forest. This might be a nice spot here on this little peninsula. We can kind of mow this area down to build what I want to build. Uh, we're close to granite um sand of course here this is more of a rainforest here you're just in desert a little patch here again it's not very user friendly um obviously we have a disconnect icon which is interesting that doesn't matter i should be able to do what i want to do here this looks like a nice spot over here but again what do we want to be near and i'm not really sure because there's no one else no one else has joined yet so i want to run around see if other people are going to start setting up i am in a little bit early and we'll go from there I'm running along here i'm just picking up some food because the way eco works now or since i played a lot last time is that each uh, character has or each person has their own favorites and least favorite foods or, or okay foods good foods bad foods etc so it's good to collect what you can as you run you got to go slow you can't spam click like you used to be able to i'm um, actually i'm almost out of in food too so i'm gonna have to eat some raw beets unfortunately We'll see if I actually like beets. Uh, interesting that it's not making the eating noise. You used to always make an eating noise. Hmm, that's weird, okay. So I'm just kind of collect a whole bunch of stuff here. It's getting dark and I haven't found a spot to settle yet. Um, we have a lot of, look at this little, this is a nice little landing here. That looks nice. Again, I don't, I'm not gonna be doing cooking this server so I don't really need to concern myself about being around food. I'll be buying all my food, but I still want to get a... Wow, look at this. That looks so nice. There's a nice waterfall over there. Very pretty. I'm trying to think where I'm at now in the terms of the map. Let's get down. There's limestone. Like, I want to do a lot of stuff with limestone, but limestone is found like in the ground here, but also under... or, like, along the, um, the edges of stuff. So I'm just going to run and collect a bunch more items... Because everybody can do campfire cooking in the beginning. That's not an issue. Like the basic campfire cooking, everybody can do. So you don't have to rely on eating raw vegetables for very long. Because, you know, who wants to eat raw vegetables? There is camas and there's things here that I don't want to dig up yet. I don't have a shovel either. I have to place down my tent first. Um, other people will be joining the server as I'm, well, talking or they might have joined already. And I don't want to take away farmland from anybody because I'm not doing farming. I'm doing mining and some woodworking. I mean, I usually love doing my woodworking. All right, let's collect a bunch more things here. And then I think we'll ride out the day. And then we'll come back and find a spot. All right, we made our way over to this little area here. And I slapped down my campsite. I renamed our area here. Um, you can't really tell. Can you tell? Ontario Aggregate incorporated because we're going to be doing mining and masonry and the whole deal um there's a couple other areas that are set up here um if i can center the map i can't hover over that this is wally he's going to be i'm not sure what he's doing yet he hasn't chosen anything he may be doing cooking or farming i'm not sure but again the map isn't gigantic you have you know as far as land masses we have one two three four this is the same five this is six seven so like there's only seven like land masses so 
Um, I mean, there's obviously not a hundred people on the server or will be on the server, but I feel putting my spot here, I can harvest all this. Cause I want to have a limestone building as well as the regular mortar stone to have a bit of a different, you know, look to it. Plus, for the different um, things that I want to get, the statues, you need to have limestone uh, for those, of course, which is going to be awesome. And then there's obviously other stuff around here. This water would be nice to kind of tap into this water somehow. I'm not really sure how what this is here. Might be ice. And then the wetlands aren't too far away over here because I will be needing coal eventually. Depending on what, if I get into glass, I'll need coal for the kiln or bricks. You also need coal. Um, and it's not that far away. I could easily put a road right along here. I probably wouldn't build a tunnel because these cliffs are pretty, pretty high here. But I think it's gonna work out. We can put a road right along here because the mount the, the islands will all have to be connected. Like Wally's over here, other people will be settling. I'm sure some people are doing mining, they'll be out in here. Other people will be doing tree stuff down in here. You know, this is kind of the same landmass that I'm on. But I claim this area here. There's still tons of good space here for farming all along here. Lots of good spots for mining like crazy. Um, even on the maze here, like look how big there's a lot of flat spots. So it's very hilly. This has a lot of wetlands in it. So be pretty cool, I think. And then my, what I'm planning on doing is having a big, you can see with my mouse here, I think you guys can see that, having a big kind of uh, L shape. It'll go up like this and it'll go like this, big L shape building. And then on this side, at least on one side or maybe both sides, there'll be like um, a drive through area. So it'll basically come, the road will come through this, the road will go through here. This will all be kind of road. And in here where this greenery is, there'll be a bit of like a garden area, mainly just right in here. But the good thing with this spot is underneath this is gonna be tons of sand. And then there potentially will be more limestone underneath this. So we can have, have a bit of a mine directly underneath us. We won't have issues with water because the, the, the water doesn't go underneath this. It's not like Minecraft, the water always goes away. So like, see how it fans out and then I can obviously dig underneath the water if I need to and close enough to Wally and whoever else settles I mean there's plenty of space over here for people to settle I won't be going this way at all I will be harvesting resources there is granite here and I'll mainly be digging into this big mountain to get my my aggregates which will be good we have the sand for the glass and also for the masonry mortar mind you but the first thing we have to do is we have to get working on where are we at here Get working on the skill we have right now we get our next star in two almost three days from now which is because we have nothing to do we have nothing going for us so we got to get i mean i could get into mining right away but i think we get into masonry first but we need to get a skill book and we need to have a research table the thing is you need to have buildings for all of these things however we have started off with our first little area here which let's open our up our storage so we have a fireplace or not a torch i don't care about a torch i want um my oh we have a workbench i'm sorry we have our workbench in here so we're going to order one workbench do that we want to order a tool bench to make tools and then we have a campfire we can already do the uh and then i want to bring my tools down and then all the food type things i'm just going to store um over here for now because we don't really need any of the food out here i want to get my toolbar set up a bit better well, an actual toolbar, and I want to get some food cooking. That'll be a big thing as well. So let's get our axe, our pickaxe. Uh, this is a machete for chopping things down, and we have our building tool here. We don't have a spoon. Or yeah, spoon. We don't. We don't have a yeah, spoon. We don't have a what you might call it. I also want to get a campfire going as well. So we're going to work at that. So basically, we need, we need wood and we need stone. And we have a little bit of a workplace here. We can kind of capture that, I guess. All right, we can start chopping some trees. Um, the controls are a bit kind of slow for me, but we have some nice oak here. We can get working on some oak, which I think will be great. And again, you can set up your chat however you want as far as it's showing up different things. And we're not getting any benefit from this, by the way, because we're not, um, we're not loggers. So you basically get nothing. No benefit from this. But again, we're, don't, we're only going to get some wood here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some wood chopping. We're going to get our tables built, and we'll come on back and see what we got. The oak trees here are really a good thing because they give so much wood. You can only carry 20, which is fine. I want to get all these picked up and get these put into our little area. And you always start off with the same thing, you know, little, um, well, little area, basically. A little storage unit here, which is perfectly fine. We should have plenty of space. Well, maybe we won't have enough space because so we have to get some some stone in here, but that's okay. Now, as far as mining, I don't want to mine the limestone for... Oh, we actually have some... Oh, there's some... Um, 
there's clay there which is awesome i don't want to i really don't want to mine uh can i just dig into this why can't i mine that interesting i kind of don't want to use up more limestone than i have to so i think what i'll do is i'll make one little path maybe right through here to get the limestone out again one thing that's good about mining is you get that tier the tier the, the last Ooh, this is all clay that's actually pretty good to be honest with you the question is i don't think we're gonna have enough space in here can i swap some of this out for that i can look at that and it automatically grabs it so what we'll do here is we have to get our workbench built which will be the second thing that gets built we're doing this uh our, our oh our workbench is being built already so we should actually have it in our storage somewhere perfect though because the workbench will allow us to craft bigger things now i want to make sure i'm, I'm on my little area my little area here because that way no one can claim this spot here but i want to go into here again and i want to go right into you can see all the cool things we got here i want to go and these are some of these log piles these are just decoratives uh, as far as i know this doesn't do anything it's just decoration this is part of the elixir mods but i want to get some stockpiles going i want to get two going for sure and then you shift left click to do all the work and it'll take everything from the linked inventories so you basically hit escape or mine you hit the e key you go into storage and you want to make sure these are linked so basically if you uncheck one of these it won't output into it if you uncheck this it won't input into it and then you, these are obviously on all um which is fine there we go so we're crafting it says we here we have a minute and 40 seconds do we have our campfire yet i bet we do don't we because we have our oh no not yet campfire needs four more rock let's go get the rock real quick again i don't want to use up more limestone than i have to here but that's okay i have to move some of my text around here this is kind of annoying i don't really like this here what is this this is fine i want to get the other thing cleaned up again the the, the, the big tier for the for mining is really good where you can break the blocks completely with one hit which is super super helpful by the way oh there's not enough space in here so let's drop this out I'll automatically take that in and we can just dump this one on the ground it doesn't really matter we're actually very very hungry so i think we should try to focus on getting some more food in our system so we should have our campfire all right our campfire is made and we can just stick that oh it gives you like a bit of a hitbox which is pretty good so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into here and we need uh out of fuel of course so we got to go into the power section so we can go into our storage we can basically drop a whole stack of that into that and then what do we want to make um let's see we can do let's just i'll do maybe 10 beets we'll do what else do we have a lot we'll do 10 corn because i'm not sure what our good food is going to be yet so you got to be careful with that 10 of this uh we don't need mortar yet papaya pineapple we don't have any yet. we have tomato I think you can queue up 10 different things and we'll do, or five, excuse me, five different things. So we'll just work all of these. Actually, ooh, I don't have enough. Ooh, I'm very hungry, by the way. So I want to go into number nine and I'm going to eat the pumpkin. What does it say? I want to eat pumpkin. Does it say I like it? It's just, so it's basically the nutrition at the bottom there. It doesn't really show up at all, uh, which is fine, which means it's a neutral food for us, which is fine. Again, shift left click puts all the work in actually excuse me control left click puts all the work in or the required labor so i like to queue all of it up if i can and i think we should be fine here perfect and that'll start cooking things obviously it does it in order you can drag these around if you want and let's see this is going to dump into i don't want to link this at all i want to dump it right into this speaking of that do we have our stockpile oh, we have two stockpiles which is awesome workbench we're, we're moving right along here can we get any storage chests let's order storage chests all the work in and that goes very very quickly as well also want to kind of change the size of i like having this showing all a lot more than it does but you can a lot of stuff you can you can kind of adjust these things as you need to i like having a lot of text here um there we go cool perfect all right, so we actually have some cooked food now. Let's see, do I like, oh, why are they cooking them in out of order? Or do I drag that the wrong way? Oh, it's interesting, it's dragging, it's doing it back, back and forth. Let's see, do I like cooked beets? Uh, 
doesn't really say, so it's indifferent. And corn is also corn. I don't like charred corn. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to chop, stop the corn, because it basically, I don't like charred corn. If you go into my nutrition here, look, I have my balanced, uh, where is it, variety, taking this bonus. Horrible charred corn is negative 20%. Fiddleheads are up. That's raw fiddleheads. Charred beets are, are, are zero, so that's irrelevant. So what I want to do actually is I want to get in here and I want to drag a couple other things here just to get a few more of these things done first. Uh, just to see what I like or not. We have some fish here. Let's see if I like the fish. Look at that. That looks nice. Fish is delicious, which is amazing. All you do is you hover over your food bar. You go to variety bonus, or excuse me, tasting bonus, and charred fish is delicious. Perfect. You get bonuses for this. Because if you look at our, our thing here, we're actually down to two days and 10 hours. We lost 10 hours because of our nutrition, which is awesome. I'm going to do a bit more work and then we'll come back. So I have a neighbor now. I did a little bit of work. Not much. I haven't been on the in between clips very much. But I'm going to head over here and I'm going to get... Wow, look at this place already. I think this is owned by Tizzy. I just want to make sure Tizzy's not on just in case they don't want anything. Nope, they haven't been on, so that's fine. Some people don't want to be on camera when I do recordings and stuff, which is fine. So Tizzy, I think, is working on... I'm not sure. Let's go take a look at at their place here. How can I get up here? Jeez. You have to kind of traverse your way up here a little bit. I can just dig out one little spot here. I don't think anybody's going to notice. There we go. Because we're playing on a very, like, hilly, modified... Not modified, but, like, a very hilly map. Jeez, I don't know how am I going to get up here. I think right like this is how she's been getting up. Or how they've been, get, they've been getting up. Let's go take a look. Wow, look at this place already. This looks amazing. I got what is that? A log pile? That's what is this? A rock pile? I think these are part of the different mod packs. Ooh, how am I gonna get over there? To her to their store. Oh, here it is. <clears throat> Here's the store, and they have they're selling these for a point. Um, I'm gonna add to cart. I'm gonna add to cart because I want to buy each of these skill scrolls, even though I'm not tuning tailoring or farming. I can buy them. And then, yes, and then what I got to do is I right click on them and I learn them. And what that does, is it gives me skill scrolls. Or it gives me, excuse me, not skill scrolls. It gives me, oh, we leveled up. What did we level up? Oh, because we learned, we learned tailoring and we learned the other one. So Tizzy's place is right here. And my place is all over there. It doesn't look that far from here, but it's, it's a decent swim, you know, if you want to connect these two. And Tizzy, I know, is doing farming, I believe. See if I can kind of hover over their name here. They're doing gathering. So typically gathering is, is, is farming. Something the server might be a little bit laggy tonight. So the different plots here are her plots. And then we have Wally here who's doing cooking. Hmm, why is it so laggy? I'm not really sure. Basically, I mean, because we are server wide. We have Marshall who's doing, uh, so far doing mining, masonry. And then we have a couple people over here. Uh, this is Calibian. They're doing logging, and then I think these are Kalislo, because Lido is doing survivalist, and we don't know yet. And there's a bunch of other people here. <coughs> uh, my neighbors, I guess, are kind of clear, close by, logged in, and here they were. But that's fine. We got what we wanted to do, so let's head back. <coughs> and I'll grab a, I'm not going to grab tomatoes from here now. Again, this is a nice spot because you're right on the edge of having wetlands for things like coal, but you know, we'll need we don't need coal for a while yet. You only need coal if you're if you're if you're using a kiln, which you're doing glass or brick. We're 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 days away. But look at that, we have 15 skill scrolls now, or keep calling them skill scrolls, but we have land claim papers. And basically, what that means is that you can claim more land, which means that people can't build on your area. Now, again, we kind of have a friendly rule here: people won't be building on, on our areas. Let me just check real quick. I get another star in one day, 15 hours. So, I originally wanted to take masonry first to get to get some um, furniture in my little place which i don't have built yet by the way but i might have to take mining i don't know so we have a lot more work to do is that an alligator and a snapping turtle is that gonna attack me i don't know animals are still a bit glitched in this game that's okay i got our tools down here and i'm starting to mine out a area like i said i want to try to to avoid using the limestone until I have 
proper production. I mean, I guess it wouldn't matter because I will be, I do want to make a limestone ish base, but I'd rather use sandstone for things like basic stuff. Um, and then, you know, we'll go from there. But anyway, I think what we're going to do is we're going to wrap this episode up. This is basically just the quick beginning. Uh, I do a lot of jumping in this game. Wish it'd be kind of night or daytime more often, but we got a lot of trees up there. We don't need a lot of trees, but we have our neighbors that are when I mean, they're way. Ooh, wow. They're way. If I turn that off, that might be better. <clears throat> Nope, it doesn't any better. Um, they're all the way over here, so I should be able to harvest these trees by myself. And again, there's also, there's trees everywhere. Oop, come on, map. There's trees down in here. None in the wetlands, of course. And then back here, here's someone's plot there. Whose is that plot? That is... You can't hover over plots anymore. You have to actually do something like this. This is... Um, oh, this is my mode. My mode is also doing... It looks like they may be setting up to do maybe some mining. I'm not really sure yet. But we have a lot of people on the, we have, who's in there? We have um, Plyspomatox. I don't know how to pronounce the name. <laughs> I'm really butchering that. So there's a couple of people on the line already. And let's see. Can I zoom in here without crashing the game? We have someone here. Who's this person? Oh, this is Lana. And, and Lana's going to be doing gathering and farming as well. So yeah, we have quite a few people on the server already. But uh, thank you guys for joining me for the first episode of Eco. We're definitely going to be having a lot more updates of this. I will be doing streaming of this as well. So the streams, uh, if you got to this point of the video streams, will also be happening. And those will be posted on my channel as well. Basically, I'll be doing more busy work, like a lot of mining, a lot of logging. I want to get these logs up there. It's just a lot of up and down because we have a lot. Of, all the islands have a lot of vertical space. That one over there doesn't really have a lot of vertical space. That's at the edge of that uh of the rainforest area here but anyway guys if you like this uh look at my shoes my first let's play of eco please consider leaving me a like as well as a follow on the video do you like eco what would you like me to what would you like to see from me a lot of building do you want to see a lot more mining do you want to see trading i eventually want to have a house with a trading post man tizzy really is going to town over there by the way looks awesome and eventually we'll have a store and we'll have our, our basically our base that i want to set up in time Thank you guys for joining me. If you uh, are enjoying the videos on my channel, please consider leaving a subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next eco video. Take care now.